Some things you don't mind waking up to find in your hammock. Your favourite blankie. Your teddy bear. Half-eaten chocolate bar. Halle Berry. But there are some things you really don't want to find in your hammock. Mostly, they come at night. Mostly. Of jumping spiders, aggressive hunters. Listen for the click when it decides to launch itself at me. Ah, get it off me, get it off me. A face only a mother could love. This fella looks like he has two big eyes, but he actually has four pairs. Yep, that's eight eyes. Okay, I think we can come down off of our chairs now. But don't worry, those cunning chaps in Q department, I believe, have come up with the answer. Oh, this is a piece of um, cutting sheet that you can get in the in the dollar store actually, but in the kitchen uh, stores. Um, CD size, drew around a CD, cut it out, punched a hole in the middle the right size for whatever you're going to do. I'll show you that in a minute. You can see there's a slot and a triangle there. Let's make a cut, slot, triangle. Pull one over and the other. Then the point of the triangle goes into the slot. Like that. And that makes a nice cone. I've actually done that backwards. You can see there's a flat side and a shiny side. And I'm thinking the shiny side, combined with a little food grade silicon, you can get this in aerosol spray also, is going to do the trick. I think it's going to stop the insects. And apply it like this. This is actually my hammock clue. It's made of um, a Dyneema mixture, 1200 pounds breaking strain for a 316 piece of lump, isn't bad? So there it is. Very similar to a rat guard on a ship. This is actually, I think, kind of the idea. So we're going to test it. I think we've got a 
a success, huh? Mm -hmm. He doesn't like that silicon stuff, does he? Hey? And they're turning around. This one's going to go. This one's having to go. Trying to get up. <coughs> trying. Trying. I don't know what's going on. It's so slippery. And there's this sticky stuff all over my feet. Oh no. Hell with this. I can't get in that hammock. Let's go. So there it is, folks. The cone of shame. Um, definitely showed a result. Um treated with the silicon as opposed to not treated with the silicon. The, the very, and it's a very fine coating, you can barely detect it. It just feels a little bit slippery. But without it, they didn't seem too phased. It was a bit of an obstacle, but with it, they just turn around. So it's something, it's something um, worth playing around with more. And something you could make to fit around your whoopee sling. When you came to put them away, you could put them face to face so that the silicon side was kind of covered put them in your hammock uh, stuff sack and you're good thanks for watching the latest dose of madness